everyone, it's JoJo. So today I'm participating in a collaboration video with Nicole from Nesting Haven. And this is all of my thrifted Thanksgiving finds. Most of these items I have recently found, but there are a few that I've had for a while. So I am just gonna go ahead and get started and show you each item one by one. The first item I wanted to show you is this ceramic turkey. It is made by Napco Wear and is part of a salt and pepper shaker set. It was only 99 cents and believe me, I searched high and low for its mate and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I still love it. The second item I wanted to show you is also a salt and pepper shaker set and it is a squirrel and a walnut and they were $1.99 and they're made by Inesco. So cute, I just love the little nut with the squirrel. And the final salt and pepper shakers that I have for you are squirrels. They have a cork bottom and say Japan on the bottom. I just thought these were so cute looking and their tummies are so big they look like they had too much Thanksgiving dinner. So I couldn't remember if I had shown these in a past haul. I got these from an estate sale and they were actually part of the Christmas um, items. And so I was surprised when I opened up this box and found these plastic nuts and berries. I thought they would be perfect on a platter or I'm going to use them somehow in my Thanksgiving display. So these were one of my favorite all-time finds. I think I paid $5.99 or $6.99 at the Goodwill for them. And these dishes are made by Spode. I thought the pattern was absolutely perfect for Thanksgiving dinner. The back says uh, Copeland Spode England Reynolds. And I think they really match my tablecloth. I just fell in love with this vintage nut dish. I love the little squirrel on top. This was made by a company called Armby. I wasn't really familiar with the company, but I absolutely just loved the look of this. And I only paid, I believe, $2.99 for this nut dish, which I thought was a fantastic deal. And it really went along with the rest of the salt and pepper shakers I had found and the Thanksgiving theme. I found this gorgeous tablecloth at Savers. I paid $3.99 for it, and it's probably not meant to be a fall tablecloth, but I really thought that the colors were warm, and with the, like, the gold and the almost rust color and green, I think it would be perfect for the fall Thanksgiving time. So the next two pictures I picked up at my local restore for a dollar a piece. These are pheasants, and they're done on a silk and rayon. They're by a company called Cashes, and they're from England. I just thought that the colors were just striking, and I love birds. I really liked, too, that the backs were marked with so much information about this bird series that was done. And I really thought that a dollar was such a great price. The second picture is of a ruffed grouse, as you can see from the back here. The last item I wanted to show you that I found at the Goodwill is this vintage picnic basket. When we often think of picnic baskets, we think of summertime, but the rust color on this picnic basket made me think more of fall. Now it is in very, very rough shape as you can see. And I don't believe that I paid very much for it. It was a, maybe around $5. I know that the bottom is rough also. The whole thing is really in bad condition. But the color is really what I was drawn to and I think it would still make an awesome display. So that is all the thrifted vintage Thanksgiving items that I've found and will be using this fall. I hope you enjoy seeing everything and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.